Hey guys, welcome back to CyberGeek. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate you how to solve this problem given in your introduction to networks in Cisco. Now, this assessment is called as ITN Final PT Skill Assessment and PTSA. Now, this uh, assessment has been updated in terms of your requirement, uh, IP addresses and basically everything. So if you know how to change IP addresses, basic functions of changing IP, updating subnet uh, configuration, then it is going to be very easy for you. If you don't have any basic knowledge about it, do not worry, just follow my steps. Within one few clicks, you will be able to finish this assessment with 100%. So all you have to do, you can see on your right side, you have your router and switches. So basically this is your router and this is your switch over here now once we set up this what you have to do all you need to think is that how to make the connection between them right without connection they are not gonna work and all of them are in your switch off state so you have to switch it on later on as well so before doing that uh, let's just see the configuration over here given in the figure so your pc is connected to switch and then switch is connected to router and router is connected to your another pc so you can see the numbering is being mentioned over there right so what you have to do you have to take one cable from here which is in green color over there then i have to just go below in your first pc you can see over there it's showing fast ethernet zero right so you need to click over there and then we can see that in switch it is f06 right so just zoom over there so in switch you can see this is your where is it yeah this is the one so you click over there and now you can see your wire has been connected right first you have to click over here and then in the switch so that your connection will be made over there which means your wired connection now what you can do over here you can see switch f5 and then router 01 is mentioned so take the same cable zoom out and you can see over here that router i mean your switch 05 and then you have to go to your router or basically over here and in router it should be 01 so you can see gigabit ethernet 001 so connect it over there right that's enough okay so we have successfully made the connection from pc switch and router now we have to connect the other part so from router zero you can do the reverse connection no issue with that so you can see just below that zero one there is another cable right which is your zero 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 so click over there and drag it over here and in the pc you can see over there right i hope you can see ethernet zero right so click it over there and now your connection has been successfully made with that now over here you have to do certain thing to have the access in the router so i hope you have done your practice of your uh, ptsa skills assessment because in that one itself also we have seen that we were unable to get the direct connection inside your router which means you cannot get the access if i click over here you can see unable or hidden or whatever in that also it was showing something lock right so to get the access we use this cable over here which you can see over here fiber optic cable so click over here zoom in in your first pc click it over here and then go over here in the router side and then what you have to do you have to simply just plug in the console not aux okay below one console so just click over there and the successful connection has been made so all the connections are done what you have to do now you have to click over here there is a switch click it now it has been switched off now let's go to your pcs switch on and this is the another one that's all that's all you have to do the connection now how to configure it that's the basic question right so get the access in the router all you have to do you have to click over here in your first pc i'll just show it one second click on the first cpu which is your basically the pc go in the terminal and once you are in the terminal just click ok so now you have your router access now i will tell you few things over here two things to note if your assessment has been is going to be um like analyze later on like what kind of configuration you have done and anything like that then you need to uh, keep in mind these IP addresses over here which has been mentioned okay because what code I'm gonna share you is not on this IP address it's different so still you will get 100% there is a no issue so just make sure that you are going to change the IP address if you don't have even basic knowledge of changing this IP address do not worry just simply paste the code which I'm going to share it with you all right 
ओके सो नाउ लेट जस्ट सी द कोड विच आई हैव जस्ट मेक इट रेडी राइट नाउ सो ओवर हियर यू कैन सी दिस इज द कोड नाउ दिस कोड विच इज बीन शोन ओवर ह्यू द एब ऑफ वन दिस इज फॉर राउटर and there will be another code for a switch so you have to configure two things over here and then later on you have to give ip address to your pcs both of them right so how can you do that let's just see in the router section over here i'll share you this file so don't worry about that and you can just copy this one right just copy it till here okay you can see leave this switch part you have to only copy the router part okay and avoid copying this hashes router hashes right do not copy that one copy from enable till the startup config just copy it come to your compile over here in the router which you can see now what you have to do over here you have to just hit enter okay okay so now what you have to do over here you have to just come and you have to press over here control shift and your insert button press together all of them and now you can see something has happened right do not worry just hit enter once again enter once and that's all your configuration is done for your router right now let's go and copy the code for switch and see how can we do that the configuration for a switch so you can see over here below the switch copy from enable do not copy this hashtag switch and all and copy till your startup config below just copy this one and zoom in now we did it for router right with the help of your cpu because it was connected with your optical fiber cable right now for switch configuration you can see over here these two buttons at the end just click on them okay your switch terminal will open up you have to just hit enter enter now what you have to press control shift and insert so your switch code is also will be executed and just hit enter twice okay three to four times doesn't matter your configuration is done for switch and router both of them okay now what you have to do yes you have to just set the ip addresses for both the pcs which is given over here so let me just do it and show it to you guys now you can see over here there is nothing now i'll just set it up okay so now you can see the set setup has been done even the subnet mask you need to change it over here and that's the reason why i told you that if you know how to configure your ip address better use what is given in an instruction manual do not follow what i am giving you right because this is based on my previous assessment but still you will get your 100% mark so don't worry about that so all you need to do just set it up just put it over there and click close button that's all and then you have to go inside your second cpu click over there on that then click on your ip configuration and you have to copy the second pc b what i will do is that i know that all of you are going to do it with inside your pcs so i'll put the code in the description box itself because i do not know whether the download link whether it's going to work or not later on and you guys might get frustrated so just copy it from the description box below right so that's all you have to just set up let me just save this one as well close it and once everything is been done that's all you don't have to do anything just go over here go over here right and just hit submit assessment that's it nothing you have to do over here but in your first which is your uh, practice assessment in that when you configure your network you can at least ping one pc from one network to another network right in this case you don't have to do such things you can just simply put the configuration and submit it now you can see it will take quite amount of time based on your internet speed once it has been done i hope it gets 100% in some cases it gets around 70% 73% 80% yesterday when i did it for my friend it was around 100% so let's see how it's going to work for this one okay so you can see the submission has been done i'm just waiting for the marking right now now you hope yes it's 100% so successfully done good luck to all of you who have watched this video and i hope you guys pass out your exams very easily so see you in the next videos till then goodbye